alcohol consumption linked to Alzheimer's disease in two recent large studies. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, only about 2% of uh, Alzheimer's disease seems to be genetically linked. So that means about 98% of it is linked to faulty lifestyle behaviors and of course the effects of aging on the brain itself. But we're seeing in recent studies that diet and exercise and nutritional supplements and other lifestyle measures can have a huge impact on forestalling the age-related changes to the brain and preserve memory to a much greater degree and reduce risk of Alzheimer's disease. So we've learned a lot in recent years. The problem is a lot of that doesn't get translated down to when you have an annual physical examination from your doctor. You know, if, you're, if your cognitive function seems fine, it doesn't even come up in the conversation. But there are certain factors that are really vital to pay attention to while your brain is still healthy to help reduce the likelihood you'll develop Alzheimer's disease down the road. Now, there are two large studies were published in 2012 that have shown a, a very strong link between alcohol consumption and the future development of Alzheimer's disease. So these studies were presented at the Alzheimer's Association International Conference on July 26, 2012 in Vancouver, British Columbia. So the first study showed how bad binge drinking is. So a person says, I don't really drink that much, but you know, a couple times a month I go with my friends and you know, I really you know, uh, go to town and have a number of drinks and get a bit intoxicated. Just binge drinking twice a month like that has had, had the greatest effect on increasing risk of Alzheimer's and, de and dementia. So over the eight-year period that these people were followed, they followed thousands of people, they saw a 10% decline in cognitive function just over the eight-year period in people who had that type of alcohol um, uh, relationship. They also had more than a 2.5-fold increased risk of memory decline compared to non-drinkers. And this was true for both men and women. So it's not as if the woman's brain was protected, but it was only affecting men. Both sexes were involved equally. And this was after controlling for other confounding variables like smoking and other things that may damage the brain. In the second study, it looked only at women. It looked at women who didn't really drink very much in the formative years, but they started to just drink moderately during middle life and you know, sort of menopausal, postmenopausal period they ended up having a three times a greater likelihood of developing cognitive impairment compared to women who didn't drink at all. So you know, researchers point out that the, the message to the public has been you know, that moderate alcohol consumption actually has these wonderful health benefits. It helps to reduce risk of heart disease and cardiovascular risk. But as they're saying now, that's an oversimplified message. The truth is that you can reduce your risk of heart attack and stroke and other vascular conditions without having any alcohol. You can get s fantastic uh, antioxidants in your system without drinking red wine. The thing is that alcohol is actually the second most important cause of cancer from environmental factors. Cigarette smoking is number one. The second most important environmental factor causing cancer that's well documented is alcohol. It also now, we know it damages the brain and now we see that that damage is linked to an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. Um, it's also, uh, you know, because we have a, uh, an aging population and Alzheimer's disease is on the rise and it's going to be a huge problem in the, in the very near future, I think it's vital that if you're still reasonably functional, you have, you have your capacities, click on the link below to see my 10-point Alzheimer's disease prevention program. It really summarizes all the latest research and it'll show you how to put all the, the lifestyle factors together to help reduce your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. This now includes being very judicious with your alcohol consumption, as I've told you many times if you've been watching any of my videos, reading my articles. So click on the link below to receive the whole comprehensive program so you understand all the different facets of prevention. Now, machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, and videos I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research papers and, and uh, professional materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll always see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.